Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm a solution architect at Dasher Technologies, and I help people build things and solve problems. One thing that comes up a lot is people wanting to build a private cloud. So you want to build a private cloud, huh? You probably poked around and looked at different products and maybe some open source projects, and OpenStack caught your eye. In fact, you probably saw this on the OpenStack page and thought, hey, this looks pretty simple, right? Compute, networking, storage, cloud infrastructure. Wait, what happened to simple? Oh, right, making complex systems appear simple is really complicated. You know, if someone abstracted the complexity of deploying OpenStack, if they made it easy to throw this logic at some metal and have it work, I bet they'd make a million dollars. Wow, this looks familiar. Where'd the complexity go? For the rest of this video, I'm going to be talking about Piston. Piston is a distribution of OpenStack aimed exactly at what I just mentioned, abstracting complexity and allowing you to throw OpenStack at some metal and 10 minutes later everything just works. Beyond just deploying OpenStack, Piston makes things like software upgrades and scaling out a cluster a click and forget experience. Each Piston cloud node runs the same highly secure and minimal operating system called IOKane Micro OS. Their Moxie runtime environment helps eliminate the typical siloed approach of deploying separate controller and compute nodes by distributing control functions across all nodes in the cluster, as well as handling master election of OpenStack services, making them highly available. But let's walk through an install. We've got some time. First, a shopping list of the basics to get us started. We need a USB thumb drive, a 10 gig data network, a 1 gig management network, five cloud nodes for HA or three without HA, and a boot node. Almost any x86 server will work for the boot node. All right, cool, let's build something. We've loaded the piston cloud key image on the thumb drive and modified a few simple parameters in the cloud.conf file that are specific to our environment. Okay, I walked over and plugged the thumb drive into the boot node and powered it up. Now we can watch the action from the comfort of a web browser while I get hopped up on the bean, or drink some coffee. Oh, while we're here, as you can see from the warning messages, we don't have a 10 gig data network in this environment. Dasher and Piston would both recommend a 10 gig data network for performance reasons. And while it might not matter too much when the cluster's empty, once we get some workloads rolling, one gig would become a bottleneck pretty quickly. And approximately 10 minutes later, OpenStack is installed and now there's a link to my dashboard. Awesome. I log into the Piston dashboard using the admin account. Then I create some images, a new project or tenant, and associate a user to that project. I switch over to the new user account and spin up a couple instances. One running Ubuntu and one running Windows. Create a block volume and attach it to the Ubuntu instance I just spun up. Something worth noting is that the provisioning workflows in OpenStack are very similar to what you might see using Amazon Web Services, but there are some subtle differences. One example is that in OpenStack, I need to provision and attach block volumes as a separate workflow. Now I have my Ubuntu and Windows instances running and can do things like associate floating IP addresses and edit security groups, which act as virtual firewalls. I can also bless an instance, which is basically like creating a template from which I can very quickly clone or deploy more instances. Or I can migrate a live VM from one host to another. Switching back to the admin user, let's see how easy it is to scale out a cluster by adding more nodes. I simply rack, stack, and cable up the new cloud nodes, and they'll appear in the Piston Cluster tab. I select the nodes I want to add and click the Add Host button, and Piston makes it happen. I've successfully scaled out my cluster to five nodes. Now let's wrap things up by initiating a software upgrade. I click Check for Updates, Install Update, Start Update, and Forget About It. Tune in for our next vlog entry to see if the cluster lived through the rolling upgrade and check out some use cases for our new cloud infrastructure.